Now, how we can add displacement and tessellation information to our map, especially to our master material. So first, to activate nanite tessellation inside of Unreal 5.4, what we need to do is we need to go to any folder, right click, and we need to go to our show in Explorer. And then what we need to do is we need to go to our content, where we find our config folder, open it, and we will find a default engine. You right click and you edit with Notepad, and then you will have all those information. Inside script engine render settings, what you need to do is you need to add those two inputs. So you need to add R nanite allowed tessellation equal to one, R nanite tessellation. I will going to enlarge them in here so you can rewrite them once you add them into your default engine you need to file and you need to save it next you need to restart your own in unreal engine this is really important and now what we are going to do is we are going to create it so i'm going to go to my here right click i'm going to create master material displacement now what's happened when you activate the tessellation is basically you'll see a new input called displacement but what you need to do to be able to activate it you need to click in here and you need to go all the way down until you find nanite and you want to say enable tessellation now it's already started so for this, I'm going to go to my content drawer and I'm going to use um, one of the Icelandic sand texture. So I'm going to grab my albedo and my normal and my OART. So for this, I'm going to add my paste color directly. And for my normal, I'm going to add my normal. And from my ORD, as it stated, so O represent the roughness, represent my ambient occlusion, green represent my roughness, and B is represent my displacement. I'm gonna apply and save it. And to control the displacement, if you click on the material, root material, inside of our nanite selection, we have our magnitude and we have our center here. So I'm gonna add it to my material, to my landscape, click on the landscape, click on landscape material and add it. The material, or what we can do better is we can create a material instance. So I'm gonna call MI displacement. I'm going to add the material instance in here. Now, what we need to do, our texture is extremely small, so we need to adjust it. And for this, what I'm going to do is right click. I'm going to add texture coordinate. And I'm going to add a multiplier and scalar tiling. I'm going to leave it at one now. For default, I'm going to add it to all of our UV. And I'm going to apply and save it. Now, if we go to our material instance, we take it all the way in here and we increase in here so we can see it. I'm going to make it around 0 0.1. Okay, so we can see the information. Now what we need to see is we need to see our... Now until now is everything is flat. And I want to see uh, displacement information. And to do this, what we need to do is we need to click on our landscape. And inside of our landscape, there is a nanite. We need to enable it. And then we need to click on build data. Give it a little bit of time until it's calculate everything. 
now what you see you see a new information along with the displacement now this is too much displacement what we can do is we need to go to our master material and we need to be able to control our displacement so from displacement we have this magnitude i'm going to increase it to be around 0 0.5 if we apply it and go back in here now we see it or a little bit less so go in here 0 0.1 apply and there you have a displacement inside of your own object how to add a controller how can i add more controller so magnitude is is like the main but i want to add a multiplier for our displacement so inside of my master material if i go in here to my displacement i can add multiply this multiplier represents a multiplier to my magnitude so i'm gonna add a scalar parameter and i'm going to call it displace meant magnitude i'm gonna put it 0 0.1 to match the value and we also can change the offset of our displacement or the bias if we add a node and with the add node i can create another scalar parameter i'm gonna call it displacement bias or offset and then we submit them to our displacement node so now apply them and now if we go to our landscape in here and i go to my instance material i can activate my magnitude and when i increase my magnitude so if i go all the way 0 0.3 it will change the amount of displacement so if we go all the way one five this is as i said it's a multiplier so you have your magnitude information in here and this is going to be multiply with what you have with this value and then we have also our displacement bias so if we go in here it's basically going to offset our object so this is between zero to one and you will have a slight offset If you want to control your magnitude from within your own instance, what you can do is I can return this value to be at one and this is zero. And what I can do is you can go all the way down to material property overwrite and you will have an displacement scaling. You have your magnitude. So if I go 0 0.5, now it's changing. And now I can go back in here and I dial the number little bit so 0 0.3 and now what you see here you will see a detailed information with the displacement so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go back to my master material that we created and from here i'm going to add another section to my displacement so i'm going in here we're going to control here and we're going to say enable tessellation if we want it and i'm going to add displacement so displacement can be taken as black and white or can be taken as ord so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take both roughness and ord texture duplicate them and rename them this one i'm going to rename it to be um, displacement texture Take the name and what we are going to do is we are going to add them to a new category so i'm going to call it 06 displacement okay and i'm going to put it as one take the another one and we can add the similar texture ord and in this case, we're going to have a static 
switch parameter the static switch parameter first for this placement ORD mask if it's false it's going to the general one if it's true it's going to be in here and what we need to do is we need to add a multiply and I'm going to add scalar parameter I'm going to call it this placement magnitude with the value to be zero for now and we're going to add node and I'm going to add another scalar parameter I'm going to call it this placement bias and add it in here now what I want to do displacement is not something so we are going to use often okay so what we can do is we can add another static switch parameter so I'm going to say static switch parameter if it's true apply it if it's false nothing so left I'm going in here to make it organized I'm gonna add name reroute declaration so I'm gonna call it displacement output and I'm gonna set the value to be false for as a default and now from here we can take our displacement out one thing we need to do is we need to organize the group of it so going in here I'm going for the false value I'm gonna say it's static pool I'm going to set up the file the value to be false so going in here now I'm going to take my parameter I'm gonna rename it to be this placement switch and both of them put them in the category of displacement as zero and this is going to be so zero now those we can put them two and three apply so if we go to our material instance now we have at the bottom displacement we have displacement switch once it's activated I will have displacement texture or I will have another mask that will allow me to have a different displacement texture and from here we will have magnitude and bias so going in here I guess we have one texture we missed so our in here texture this should be from our B value sorry for this B channels and I'm going to add it to my displacement as one so apply now when we have this is our displacement if we activate it, it will activate it and if we activate the mask it's a switch it to another displacement or detection save everything and save our material and put it inside of a comment box we call it displacement adjust 